first of all, I want to thank the grace of heaven and the virtues of the masters, the <clears throat> mercy of the grand predecessor, predecessors, transmitting masters, lecturers, and everyone here today for this opportunity to talk about uh, the Holy Teacher's scripture. Um, and this one is kind of timely because it's from this year, uh, actually this month, uh, December 3rd and 4th at in Taiwan uh, at our headquarter temple, Tony Tony Gong Tony Temple. Um, it's, uh, I guess they, they call it uh, Tensibun, it's a two-day angel class, okay. Uh, so, <clears throat> So in this, you know, so it's just talking about uh, the scripture. Now, holy teachers uh, had instructed also that for this scripture, that we should read it <clears throat> five times daily or, you know, write it. You can write it out once daily. Um, so I think, you know, he's done that before. With, <laughs> there's some other scriptures before where we have, we should, you know, kind of read it uh, or, or even recite it, uh, you know, a few times a day. All right. Okay, so here, let's see. All right, so it starts off with uh, these four lines here. So talking about cultivation, right? So shu dao yao ye shu ye he qi, and then shu dao yao ye shu ye ming li, right? So the more one cultivates, the more one should be harmonious. Uh, and, and the more one cultivates, the more one should be reasonable and understanding. Okay, so yeah, he, uh, this he qi is, yeah, I say har, har, harmonious, friendly, gentle, polite, amiable. Okay, kind of implies all those things. Meanly, uh, yeah, it's it also means, you know, so reasonable understanding. Yeah. <laughs> um, so obviously, as we cultivate more, um, right, well, we, we say one of the, the basic, uh, you can say the basic cultivation, I guess, is uh, one of the basic, um, I guess, tasks <laughs> uh, when we cultivate is to get rid of our temper, bad temper, and habits. Okay, so so if we can do that, then, yeah, then we, I think we can become more harmonious, right? <laughs> um, and, you know, and also, obviously, there are a lot of other things we have to understand about the principles uh, about karma, cause and effect, uh, uh, all sorts of things about how we should conduct ourselves as a human being, right? The, 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 the way of humanity. Um, then, then, you know, as we understand more of that, then we yeah, realize, yeah, we should be more, you know, in harmony with everything else, everyone else around, okay? Um, and of course, the, the understanding also be more reasonable. You know, maybe we were uh, very, we can be unreasonable at times. <laughs> yeah, maybe uh, we, because of our attachments, uh, stubbornness, right? We, we stick to certain ideas, certain views that are well, from, from the Tao, from the truth, to, from the Buddha perspective are, are wrong. Okay, they're not the correct views, uh, but we stick to those. <clears throat> and then we become unreasonable and, you know, people then, you know, nobody can deal with us <laughs> if we're like that. Right. I, you know, it's, it's, you can't reason with someone who's unreasonable, who who's, who's, you know, irrational. Right. So, uh, so, you know, part of cultivation is learning. We have to study and learn uh, the truth and also the, the true principles, the Tao principles. And when we, you know, so we understand them, then we can we can also become more uh, reasonable. Uh, we if if and okay. So the second line says, "Shu dao yao ye shu ye qing song. Shu dao yao ye shu ye zi zai." Okay, so that's you know the more one cultivates, the more one should be relaxed. The more one cultivates, the more one should be free and at ease. All right. So <clears throat> um, you know that qing song. Yeah, it means relaxed. It could be uncomplicated. You know, simple. I take things less seriously, okay? Uh, of course, when I say take things less seriously, it doesn't mean taking, you know, cultivation or the Tao less seriously. Uh, but obviously, once we understand about what's true and what's false, uh, what is, yeah, e you can say eternal and what is just temporary, then we can kind of take this life or the, the material life, the mundane stuff in this life, less seriously okay uh and, and but you know so we could be 
we shouldn't be so stressed about this, what we're doing in life and what, what's happening in life, right? Because all these things, everything, there's a reason, right? So karma, right? Obviously, things that happen to us, karma. Uh, we can't control the things. We can't really control other people, okay? And and basically, we probably can't control 99% of the things that happen out there around us. And so, you know, you know, we shouldn't get stressed out about that about all those things, right? We have to control, take control of ourselves, all right? Um, so, uh, so you know, if we can do that, then, you know, we know we focus, uh, our cultivation is focusing, it's on changing ourselves, right? So we talked about that before, we have to change ourselves. Uh, and that is, you know, so we should be, you know, kind of relaxed and, and at ease, comfortable in doing that, okay? So free and at ease, yeah. Um, you know, comfortable or unrestrained. Uh, of course, I mean, there are, there are obviously there are what we, yeah, precepts, re rules, regulations, you know, so it doesn't mean that we can, we are free to do whatever we want. You still follow these things, but still in following these, uh, we can still be free and at ease, you know, and comfortable and cultivating. So knowing that we should know that cultivating, cultivating this Tao, cultivating uh, is, the right path is the path to Buddhahood. Okay. And so it's the right thing to do. And we should, you know, we shouldn't let people, you know, make us feel that, well, you know, I shouldn't be cultivating, you know, they, they don't want me to cultivate. So I, I don't cultivate. No, that's, uh, we have to ignore those are the ignorant people will say that say these things, right? Uh, the world the society today, they'll say things, yeah, pursue wealth, pursue fame, pursue uh, power, right? All these things. But those are, we know from cultivation and cultivation, that's not what we pursue. That's kind of the opposite. That's when we pursue those mundane things, that's the path of creating more karma. And well, then we're stuck in that cycle, endless cycle of, of birth, death, rebirth. Okay. Because we're constantly creating karma. All right. So the next line says, Shu Dao Yao Ye Shu Ye De Ti. Okay, so <clears throat> that's the more one cultivates, the more one should be proper and appropriate. The more one cultivates, the more one should be warm and cordial. Okay, so uh, tea, yeah, the tea, right, is really, yeah, it's uh, proper, appropriate, decent, uh, befitting one's position, suited to the occasion, you know. So you can say that this is like talking about propriety. Okay, so. <clears throat> Uh, you know, do what's appropriate and proper, right? <clears throat> and then also being more warm uh, and kind and amiable, you know, friendly, etc. I mean, we shouldn't, as as we cultivate more and more, we should we should be, I you know, the idea is that we're cultivating to become bodhis like bodhisattvas, bodhi buddhas, uh, and so we should be like them, right? We should not be like the common people who uh yeah they they're they're not going to be maybe they won't they'll they'll do things that are not appropriate and they, and they will not love well eventually yeah we talk about love and compassion right towards everyone all right so um then you know we're we're not we're only looking out for ourselves maybe you know uh, so that's that's not so when we cultivate yeah we have to let go of this self right let go of this ego um and so we have to treat everyone kindly, everyone nicely, <clears throat> uh, warmly, right? Uh, especially within the temple, the Tao community. Uh, we are all, in Chinese, we say Tao, Tao Qing. Okay, so we are all Tao, Tao kin or Tao relatives. So it's like, you know, we are one family. And so, uh, you know, we should treat everyone like, like we are family. Okay. And Shu Dao Yao Ye Shu Ye Jiji. Shu Dao Yao Ye Shu Ye Zen Mian. Okay. So the more one cultivates, one, the more one should be proactive. The more one cultivates, the more one should be positive. Jiji, uh, yeah, could, could mean, you know, yeah, pro proactive, active, energetic, vigorous. Okay. Um, and Zen Mian is, you know, positive, direct, or open. All right. So, yeah, I, you know, in other ways, we, we shouldn't be lazy. Okay, so, so we and we should not procrastinate when we can do things. Uh, we should definitely be proactive because why? Because 
really nobody is going to cultivate for us. Nobody is going to do these things for us. We have to do it ourselves. Right? So we have to, and nobody can really push us to do it or force us to do it. We have to push ourselves. So that's the, we have to be proactive. We have to do it ourselves. We have to, uh, we have to have that will, that 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 motive motivation. You know, we have to have that motive force to to push ourselves to to do to do it because we know what what this is what why why we're doing it. Okay, why we're cultivating. Uh, and you know, it's positive. Also, you know, definitely we uh, you can say that that's also like facing or dealing with things directly. Okay. Uh, but, you know, we always try to do things positively and think positively. Um, the Buddhas, you know, holy teacher always tell us to, to think positive, right? Always think positive about everything, the situations or, or people even, right? So uh, just, just like in a, in a previous class talking about find the good in others. Okay, so that's positive. Uh, so that's a positive attitude. Positive attitude is important in in cultivation in you know ultimately in our success in cultivation okay all right so that's uh so you can say that this may be this uh these four lines here kind of is the theme for the rest of this uh scripture all right <clears throat> okay so here it starts says uh gan xie zu fo pu sa dui wo wei xiao okay so it says thanks thank all the buddhas and bodhisattvas for smiling upon me um and then gan xie zu fo pu sa gei wo ying dao okay so thank all the buddhas and bodhisattvas for guiding me so uh you know we obviously when we cultivate or when we do anything it's you can say it's of our own doing our own uh yeah free will um but actually there's a lot of things remember a lot of things are out of our control right <clears throat> and so, uh, but if we do things according to, you can say, according to the Tao, according to the truth, uh, the true principles, you know, do things like a Buddha or a Bodhisattva, then the Buddhas and Bodhisattvas will also will smile upon us because they see that we are also uh, heading in the right direction, you know, putting in the effort to to cultivate, to ultimately, you know, on this path of of uh, achieving Buddhahood, okay, all right. So, so they're smiling upon us, and they're they're always guiding us. And and a lot of things uh, that you know we again we can only do so much. Uh, like for example, when we let's say we uh, try to bring people to receive the Tao or uh, uh, propagate the Tao, pioneer the Tao, <clears throat> all these things. Uh, there's only so much that we can do, and there are a lot of things that are out of our control. But if we're sincere in doing these things, you know, this is doing heaven's work and doing the work of really Buddhas and Bodhisattvas, they are also going to help us, okay? And they're guiding us. And, uh, and you know, the guiding also, yeah, uh, if we really are sincere, um, they <laughs> will also help us to you know, try to kind of nudge us <laughs> in in the right direction uh, or to give us encouragement, okay? Um, so, you know, this, this could also be like during the channeling, the visitations, um, you know, giving us all these scriptures. Uh, then, um, you know, so that that's, uh, their their guidance is very important, right? Um now it says, uh, 我个性平和, uh, 不会, uh, let's see, 不会焦躁. Okay, so my character is peaceful and not impatient, right? Um, you know, so peaceful, or you can say, 平和, yeah, it's peaceful, gentle, mild, moderate, calm. All right, uh, 焦躁 is, uh, yeah, it, impatient, uh, restless with anxiety, anxious, and fretful. Okay, so, so yeah, as, you know, hopefully as we cultivating, we should become calmer, more peaceful, and less impatient, right? Uh, I think a lot of us uh, have impatience, just a matter of degree of impatience. Um, but we we really need to know, learn how to be, know how to be patient. Um, and because impatience kind of leads to further things, maybe getting angry, rage, and then doing things that are saying things that we shouldn't. Okay, so 
but you know in cultivation yeah we we should have patience right you say commonly known patience uh is a virtue right so um and then so uh well what I do, uh, Chen Shi, okay, Bu Hui Gao, all right. My attitude is humble and not proud or arrogant, okay. Um, now, so this attitude, yeah, all right, you can say manner or bearing. Um, obviously, when we cultivate, we learn the Tao, the principles of the Tao, we realize that, well, being, you know, if we are proud or arrogant, you know, th that's all about ego, right? That's all about ego. Humble is the opposite of that, right? So we get rid of the ego, right? Uh, so, and we know it, you know, that is the Tao. The Tao, the way of Tao is being humble, right? So we know about like water, the virtues of water. One of the virtues of water is that it's very humble because it always goes to the lowest spot, the lowest, uh, and it never tries to, you know, uh, make a show of things or, or try to be in the forefront of things, be in the limelight, et cetera. Um, right, being humble is if we cannot be humble, <laughs> we cannot attain the Tao. I mean, you know, uh, if we are still proud and arrogant, even you know, if we're cultivating and still proud or arrogant, then the danger is that we become an asura, okay, which is you know, you can say like a like a devil, devil, you know, it's like uh, it's it's a cultivator who's who's not quite they're not that virtuous, okay, so so then that. Then that, but that's not, you know, you're not going to become a bodhisattva or a Buddha, right? So, uh, yeah, so we have to make sure that we're always humble, modest, right? Um, now, uh, ho ho po po, sui su, dai, uh, men dai wei xiao. Okay, so we're lively and smiling at all times. Yes, so we, again, uh, when we're dealing with people, I mean, we should always be, you know, like warm, uh, warm and friendly. Uh, to everyone, um, and and yeah, you can say lively is uh, you can say it's like yeah you can be flexible. I mean you know you can uh, in dealing in in a situation you can be uh, you know it's not you're you're not rigid. Okay, yen yen good yeah yen yen jing oh wait that second one's wrong here. Okay, yen yen jing jing bu ruo fan chen. Chen Tao, uh, yeah, see, uh, Chen, yeah, Chen Tao. Okay, so strictly guarding against falling into the trap of the mundane world. Okay, so we have to be careful, right? We, unfortunately, this world that we're in, the world that we're in, there, you can say that there are too many temptations. Now, we call them t temptations from our, from human point of view, but, uh, but really, you know, they are only temptations because we are deluded into thinking that all these things in this world, uh, it's what we want. Okay, the things in this world are what we want. Uh, so that's that's the delusion. Uh, we think that oh, what this world is is the this is the true reality. Okay, so, um, uh, but yeah, we have to be stay on guard because until we are we have cultivated very well, let go of all attachments, right? Um, we're, we potentially could fall for these, you know, these these, these things um, of the mundane world. Uh, the, you know, so it is a trap. It is a, it is like a trap, right? <clears throat> uh, so we always have to be on guard. Uh, uh, so always be, you know, mindful and aware, right? So the the things that we learn here that we're studying about the Tao, the the truth, the the Tao principles uh keep or keep them in mind and also the the advice the uh guidance from the buddhas and saints right keep them in mind uh that will help guard against these the pitfalls okay the of, the, of this world <clears throat> uh and so uh 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 Fumu, uh, fumu lao dao. Okay, so that, that's you know I'll happily perform my filial duties and not be bothered by their nagging. Okay, well, uh, yeah, not be bothered or you know not dislike or resent or complain. And yeah, it's, lao dao. I guess is you can say is nagging or making a fuss or you know maybe <laughs> too too 
kind of meddling in, in your business or whatever. Okay, so, but, you know, uh, parents are parents, right? They're always uh, worry about the children, uh, no matter how old they are, right? So, so that's, that's what they're, yeah, I mean, that's the way they are. That's how they, they're going to be. So, so we should accept that uh, and still, you know, perform our filial duties. Uh, you know, those are our responsibilities to our parents, right? The parents have a responsibility for us, but we also have responsibility to, to the parents uh, when they get old and it's, uh, you know, they, they need taken care of, really. Um, and so we should take care of them. Uh, obviously, we should also... You know, filial piety is a lot of things. You know, including like uh, respecting them and not bringing dishonor to them. Thing, all, all these things. Okay, making them happy. Uh, so a lot of things. So, but we should always, you know, filial filial piety. Okay, this the, our filial duties. Uh, that's one of the important important things in cultivation uh, uh, in terms of the 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 way of humanity, the Tao of humanity. And you know, we if we are not filial. You know, in fact, if we kind of go against the parents, uh, you know, in, in a significant way, then, you know, obviously, you know, don't even, don't even talk about attaining the Tao, you know, uh, you know, we, we may end up in, in, in hell for that. I mean, it depends on how serious, but, but so anyways, filial uh, piety is very important. Okay. In, in our cult, in cultivation. Uh, well, they're not just a cultivation. Actually, every anyone, you know, I mean, our parents uh, are very important in our lives, and and we have to do our best to to uh, fulfill that duty. Okay. All right. Uh, I will have patience for teaching the children. Okay. So I will patiently teach my children so that they learn well to be good. Um, this is, yeah, uh, basically, as parents, right, then we need to teach our children well, uh, make sure that they uh, learn the proper things, how to be a proper human being, because that's, unfortunately, that's not something that they teach in school. I mean, they teach certain things about oh, uh, what's right and wrong, maybe, but <clears throat> most for the most part, that's taught at home, okay, uh, or maybe you know in, in a in a religious kind of teaching type of setting. But um, but yeah, the parents have a responsibility there to to teach them um, because especially today, there's the children have so many distractions, right? Uh, they're on their phones, they're on the internet all the time with with their friends or whatever, um, and it's it's hard to <laughs> uh, get 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 time with them you know to teach them uh properly uh so so today yeah you can say it, it's very difficult but that this is also very important this is the next generation right if we don't teach them well then uh you know the the next generation is doomed right all right so uh okay so i will also benefit sentient beings and give them my care uh all so not just, you know, we don't just care for our own family. We try to care for others, all sentient beings, right? Um, because well, ultimately, you know, we have to realize that all sentient beings are, uh, we are one. <laughs> we are one. Okay, so <laughs> we'll get to that. But uh, so, yeah, we should, you know, do our best to, to benefit others, you know, do, do benefit others, not to get something in return, right? Because then that's then that's that's kind of then you have some kind of a karmic uh uh situation there when you create karma, um, which yeah, you get a you get something in return. Um, but uh we ought to do it because it's it's the right thing to do, or you can say, yeah, I mean it's it's out of compassion, okay, out of love that uh you care for all sentient beings. Um so this, you know, I, I will always mention that, yeah, this also includes not just humans, animals, all all, all living beings. Uh, and so, you know, if we want to care for all living beings, we should definitely not kill them, not harm them, etc. Okay. So in way I, the uh in way I the fun kui, right? 
the uh, dorm basal. Okay, so because the response to love is only more and not less. Okay, so basically, yeah, this fine quay is, um, yeah, response or kind of like a feedback. Um, you know, so love, compassion, right? We're talking about the, the, the love that we're talking about is, you know, like compassion, right? Um, that is when you, when we are compassionate uh, and love all, right? Love others. <clears throat> what you get back is love, all right? All right, you, you know, and that, that's, that's the thing. And, and so you get more of it. All right. So you're not going to get love by being mean or, or doing nasty things to others. Okay. That, that it doesn't, then, you know, so that's not the, the right way. And so, you know, love, you can say, yeah, when you spread this love, basically it spreads, you know, from one person to the next and it spreads around. All right. So, so you, it'll, it'll build up and get more and more. And that's the world that, want to be in is a world of love or a world of the the world that we have now which is kind of messed up all right so so love that's very important all right so what's it all the uh yen xing fate sound song yeah all right i know my words and actions are very important all right <clears throat> um and so this is uh okay actually all right so actually these 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 lines are actually in pairs okay so this you know i a benefit sentient beings give them my care and then because response to love okay so yeah so because we are compassionate we have love that we care for sentient beings then what we get back is also love and they also spread that love okay so uh and then so uh my actions yes our words and actions are very important right we know about karma that's you know everything is significant and has a yeah you could say a consequence okay potential consequence right so, you know, so here the next line says, 每天都是善恶的轮回果报. Okay, so every day is the constant retribution of good and evil or virtue of wickedness. All right, so but this is, you know, everything that we do, right? Um, or, you know, the things that we are, are experiencing is, you know, this, 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 the, the, I can say the retribution of, of karma, okay? The karmic retribution. Um, so, you know, and what we do now and say now will result in the future karma, karmic retributions. Okay. So obviously the retribution, we, maybe we think of it as being something bad or negative, but it could be good stuff, bad, you know, too. But uh, so it's just realizing that, yeah, there is a consequence. There is a result uh, for everything that we say and do. Okay. So we have to be mindful again, be careful. Uh Keep in mind that, yeah, there, we have to be careful what we say, what we do, all right? Lest we create more of this karma that kind of entangles us in this, this world, this cycle of birth, death, rebirth. And, you know, that's the cultivation. The purpose, part of the purpose of cultivation is to kind of get out of that, to disentangle, get, get out of this entanglement, all right? So, uh yeah, Kozong Chang Su Shu Shu Dao Shu Dao. Okay, it says we always talk about cultivating Dao with our mouths or you know using words. Uh, okay, I do not want just want to do it or you know basically cultivate superficially. All right. Um, yeah. So this is basically again <laughs> we can talk about cultivation, but you know, we have to do it. We have to practice it, put it into practice. Okay. So uh, if we just talk about it and kind of do things superficially, you know, that's, that's, we're not really sincere. Okay. Cultivators, right. We're, we, we're not really sincere. We don't really want to succeed, uh, achieve in cultivation. So we have to do more than just the superficial doing just going through the motions okay it has to be sincere we have to really want to do it want to succeed want to achieve in cultivation all right so no matter what so you know we shouldn't make excuses right uh you know if we make excuses that's uh, that's only going to hold us back and prevent us from fully achieving all right but uh, 
right? So whether working or playing, we're not overdoing it, right? Um, okay. Well, uh, 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 okay, so I have the ability for self-control to conform to the middle way, right? So, you know, obviously in this this case, we're you know, you can say moderation, right? In everything we do, whether we're working or playing, um, don't overdo anything. Uh, and that, you know, we have that self-control to be able to, to do that, okay? To control ourselves, you know, to, don't go to, don't, don't, don't go to, don't overdo things or overwork, overplay, right? Uh, conform to the middle way. But of course, the middle way is not just moderation. You know, it's, it's a whole uh, a lot of other things. Like it's, <laughs> it's not duality. It's not, you know, all, all these things. So, uh, but <clears throat> it, it, I guess in this context, you know, you can say it's moderation, right? Shiguang chong chong liu bu zhu if in email. Okay, so time flies, right? You cannot hold it for even even for a minute or a second, All right? This we we know, <laughs> All right? So, sun ming ju ju zai bu jing yi zi zhong liu diao. Okay, so uh, life slips away in the middle of, or uh, in the midst of unawareness or carelessness, or uh, you can say, mm, yeah, uh, carelessness. Um, so basically, you know, or not being mindful. Okay, so we have to realize, yeah, time, you know, time doesn't stop for anyone. All right. So, so time, you know, what what's the most precious thing that we have in our life? Right. Uh, obviously, our, our life, <laughs> the being alive. Uh, but besides that, it's time, right? Time is more precious than anything else, all the other stuff. Uh, because when we run out of time, it doesn't matter how much money or whatever things we have, it's all gone, right? So time is very precious. So we should not put the procrastinate, don't put things off that we can do right now, right? Uh, especially cultivation, you know, performing, uh, you can say performing merits, uh, things like that, doing what we should be doing, okay? Um, yeah, because we cannot hold back time. And, you know, if we're not careful, we don't, uh, you know, we're not always aware or mindful of what we're doing. Um, life can slip away, right? I mean, in this sense, yeah, you can say that, oh, we've kind of wasted our life, okay, uh, without really realizing it um, until maybe at, near the end of our lives, you know, we, we, we realize, oh, yeah, I should have been cultivating. Uh, now it's kind of, it's kind of late. Um, you know, I don't have that much time to cultivate, to, have, to accumulate merits. Um, and so, yeah, we, we can, we, and in the end, you know, we'll, we'll, we lose our life and we didn't really achieve, achieve anything. Okay. Or achieve the, what we wanted to achieve. Uh, okay. So after listening to Tao principles, I will put them into practice. Uh, okay, so a life transformed by Tao is wonderful and marvelous. Uh, this is basically, we again, we have to put the Tao into practice. Okay, that, that's cultivation, right? Cultivation is not just listening to class. Uh, you know, that that's, then we have to put it into action. Okay, so, so that's, that's cultivation. <clears throat> um, and cultivation can transform our lives, right? And that's it's very a very marvelous, wonderful thing when that happens. Okay, uh, you know it's, it, it's possible that you know for some people, like senior transmitter Jin, you know his because of his cultivation, that you know uh, his life was extended. Okay, so <clears throat> um, so it's very it's very wonderful. I mean. You know, the, the the at the very least, if our life is extended through our cultivation, then it gives us more time, a uh, greater chance to cultivate, you know, to to elevate ourselves, progress even more in cultivation, right? And um and and also, you know, accumulating merits to to pay off our karmic debts. All right, so that's that's a good thing. But but yeah, so you know, the Tao can transform and also you know, the things that, that are karma, um, you know, the karma is there, but 
if we cultivate well, we can also change our karmic fate or, you know, change that our destiny. Right. So that's, that's very wonderful. Uh, and then, so finally it says, you know, uh, thank the living bodhisattvas for guiding me. And then, okay. So thank uh, the living bodhisattvas for smiling upon me. Thank the living for smiling upon me. So, so initially it says, you know, just thank all the Buddha's bodhisattvas, uh, Buddha's bodhisattvas. Uh, now it's the living bodhisattvas. So who are the living bodhisattvas? Well, it's really, I mean, it's, you could say it could be, it's our parents, okay, also. Um, but it could be anyone who's helping us on this journey, who guides us, right? Uh, uh, anyone along the way who's, even those who actually uh, give us a hard time. But, you know, because of that, we overcome certain uh, certain obstacles uh, because, you know, we become a better person as a result. OK, so so that that's uh, that's why we also, you know, keep, we have to thank thank uh, those around us uh, as well. OK, now. Uh, now, here there's also a holy teacher composed a song. All right. Um, it says, okay, so this song is actually by the melody of uh, it's here. Here's the melody. <laughs> just, yeah, it says, Shang Jenny, Shang Jenny, Shang Jenny. Okay, so I don't know, three times. It says, want to see you, want to see you, want to see you. Or, or I guess it could mean, you know, miss the person or whatever. Yeah. Anyways, um, all right. So it says here, uh, 在这个修道, uh, 岁月里, uh, okay, so during this time of cultivation, I'm constantly accepting the truth, right? Um, uh, so yeah, uh, yeah, we have to accept the truth. If we don't accept the truth, I mean, obviously, people, you know, nobody can be forced to accept anything, right? So we have to decide for ourselves. Is this something I can accept, right? Is, right. So, uh, and then, so, uh, let's see, uh, right? Uh, right? Right? Um, uh, right? Okay. So, diligently studying every day, wishing to understand the truth. Okay. So, hopefully, you know, we're here, uh, we come to class. Uh, we study the, the the Tao, the Tao principles, the truth, right? Uh, we want to understand the truth, right? So hopefully we are all seeking that truth. We're not seeking the truth that science is necessarily looking for. They're they're looking for for the the the, the material truths, right? The truths of the material universe. Um, you know, we that that's you know that pursuit that could be an endless pursuit. Okay, so. Uh, but but we're looking for the ultimate truth, all right. Uh 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 let's see. Okay. Uh ba ba right. so no longer regretting or looking to the past, cherishing every affinity. Okay, so yeah, uh, you know, whatever has passed is is done right we can't change the past so so yeah we can you know i mean we shouldn't re have to regret the things we didn't do or did do you know in the past or or keep kind of living in the past or trying to go back into the past um we have to be forward looking okay um and we also have you know cherish every affinity karmic affinity that we have today okay because these are this affinity that we have in this life is planted, was planted in previous lifetimes. Okay, so um, so we should cherish it again. You know, if we don't, if we, you know, don't like the affinities or we, we you know, we, we, we do things that that make it difficult in those those affinities, you know, the affinities basically, you know, like relationships with people, different people, um, that's, you know, that can create more karma. So by cherishing, okay, you know, um, and doing all those things we're talking about, being warm, friendly, uh, uh, being compassionate, then 
there will not be, you can say that that's really cherishing those affinities and not creating more bad karma. Uh, okay. Uh, okay, so through countless centuries, never giving up, right? So we've been in uh, reincarnating for so many, for countless lifetimes, right? Um, uh, but we still don't give up on this, on what we're doing, okay? Uh, you know, cultivation, uh, for example, uh, we should not, we not give up on that, like not give up on this pursuit of the truth. Okay, uh, and transcending this this cycle, uh, this end of cycle, now, not fearing. Uh, okay, so lensen, uh, bu pa si qi. Okay, huai bao, uh, xing xing, uh, xing xing, chu chu, you know, zhan ji. Okay, so not fearing loss in life, embracing the confidence that everything will turn out, uh, for the better, or you know, just there's uh, a lot of the times where it seems like we we've hit a dead end. Um, and, but, you know, things can turn around. All right. So, but we have to have the confidence, the, you can say the, the self-confidence, yeah, the faith, the self, the confidence, um, and we should not fear loss in life. Okay. So, I mean, uh, you know, we can lose things, um, you know, the, the worst is to lose, uh, like, like a family member, um, for example. Okay. But, um, uh, mostly it's, you know, we, we're losing, uh, we lose material things or, or it could be less tangible, you know, fame or, you know, that kind of stuff you can lose, et cetera. But, you know, in life, there's going to be gain and loss. Okay. So that, that's the thing. Uh, so we have to kind of, again, look at things less, take things less seriously, those things. All right. Um, cause these things are going to happen. All right. But we need to have that confidence. Um, and that faith, you can say faith and confidence to that things can turn out better, right? Uh, and how do they turn out better? Well, yeah, having that sincerity uh in our and cultivating well, okay. Um that that's that's what we have to do, right? Dao Tang Lun, uh yeah, Dao Tang Lun Sen Da Shi. Oh wait. Oh, Zhe Tang Lun Sen Da Da Shi. Okay. Uh Buso Chen Shi. Um, right, and then uh, Ju Yi Ding Nam Tao To, uh, to uh, Fan Li. Okay, so, um, this in this great drama of life, right, not getting bound in or caught up in, uh, you know, one definitely can't escape through the barrier or, yeah, to the other side or whatever. Uh, so, you know, this again in life, there's uh, if we if we're not careful, we end up getting caught up in everything. There's all this karma, right? Uh, but you know, so so you know, if we cultivate well, we understand the principles, uh, we practice them, then we can definitely transcend all that, right? Um, so weila ni zi zi weila ni okay. Wo yan fang xia wu jing de. Tai Ji. Okay, so this is for for you and only you. I am willing to let go of endless suspicions. And then Wei Le Ni, Ju Wei Le Ni. Yeah, okay. Or Yan Jia So, Zen Li De Shi Di. Okay, so for you and just for you, I am willing to accept the cleansing of the truth. So this you, who are we talking about you here is, yeah, you can say we're talking about the true self, okay, the, the Buddha nature, right? You know, there's there's no need to doubt, have doubts. Uh, you know, all these. Uh, you know, w when we understand the truth, right? It, is you can say it's very. It cleanses our soul. The truth cleanses our soul. I mean, basically, it cleanses our mind. Okay, so I mean, it lets us understand the truth. And, and when we understand the truth, then we realize, then we can let go of all these things that these attachments, etc., that cause us to. To doubt, to have suspicions about uh, the the truth, about about reality, okay, about the way things are, okay. Bu yan zai hong chen chen mi, okay. Xu xu xia xin yuan yu ni yong yong bu li, okay. So not wanting to sink or indulge in the mundane world, making a wish never to leave you, okay. So again, this is to you know wishing not to leave. Uh, 
our true self, the the Buddha nature. Okay, leave our true. Uh, we want to be with our true nature. Well, obviously, the, the true nature, Buddha nature, is always with us. Okay, so, but, um, but we don't. The way we, uh, you can say that humans are. It's like we don't realize it uh, that it's there. Okay, so, uh, so now, cultivating the Tao, we realize we have this this true nature, this Buddha nature, um, and. That is our true self. Uh, so, you know, if we don't get caught up and lost in this mundane world, then we can be one with our Buddha nature, uh, as opposed to being kind of separate from it, right? Even though it's with us. Okay, dressing the Tangsha Xing Fu Mei Mani. Okay. Wo He Ni Yuan Lai Si Yi Ti. Right. The moment of awakening is overflowing. With happiness, you and I are originally one. Yeah, I mean, uh, you know, the we are we we are the Buddha nature. Okay, we we are one originally. Um, not just that, of course, we are one because every all everyone, all living beings, you know, have this Buddha nature essence, and we are all of that same essence. So you can say that we are all one with with everyone as well, right? Um, <clears throat> Uh, um, and okay, so and during the passing of time, watching the traces left over the years, um, and so uh, so go to sell uh, Siji, I knew war, uh, yeah, knew war, Sujong Shangi. Okay, so through countless seasons you know, or years, time, right, you and I always depend on each other. So Basically, you know, the uh, we go through, yeah, going through life together with with our, the Buddha nature. You know, life after life, it's it's all it's always there, right? Uh, and you know, the traces. You can say, yeah, it's you can say it's uh, the the. the our achievements, or you know, our karma, everything. Okay. Uh, it's accumulated over over the years and lifetimes. Okay. Uh now uh, okay, so in way uh Jeru Mingli Tao Tao Tuo Sanji uh Xing Buso uh Xing Buso uh let me see where is it Xing Buso uh G uh G Ni. Okay, so this is because of awakening and understanding, transcending past, present, and future, not clinging to or constrained by forms. All right, the san sanji is uh yeah, you, you can say it's like three worlds, but it's uh in the Buddhist terminology, it's it means the past, present, and future. So the three time frames of the past, present, and future, three worlds of the past, present, and future, I guess. Um uh, but in general, you can say it's not being bound. Are clinging to these forms of time and uh, you can say space, right? The the four images that we've talked about in the past. Okay, so um, uh, so after when we are awakened and we truly understand, then we can let go of these, all right? Uh, not be bound by these things. Okay, um, it's only because you know, and I'll throw out another thing, you know, the five skandhas uh, that we are caught up in these things we believe these things to be real and so we caught up in these we believe these um we 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 kind of bound by them okay we're we're attached to these things and that that's what causes creates karma and then this you know that's the whole cycle right beginning of the cycle <clears throat> okay so so it's jenja bu yi bu yi right uh wang xiang xiao mi right and then bu zi zuo de dang xia duo Kushi. All right. So true and false is neither unity nor duality. Delusions are eliminated. How gratifying it is in the moment having no attachments. Okay. So this bu yi bu yi. Okay. So this is, um, right. This <clears throat> neither unity nor duality. It's it's a doctrine of the zhong uh, lun or ba Bu, okay, so that that's this. Okay, this, this is kind of a, a little bit of a, a side here, but it's uh, this comes from Nagarjuna, who's the 14th patriarch in Buddhism, right, or the 32nd patriarch of Tao lineage, right. He uh, he espoused the the middle way, 
right? So, you know, because he, you know, he was pushing the, the Mahayana uh, the teachings, okay? And so this is, yeah, because back, back then, you know, there was this, all these different schools of thought about, oh, what's, is it, is there beginning, there's end, there, there's existence, non-existence, et cetera, all these things, unity, duality, Okay, so this is he was <clears throat> going talking, you know, against that 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 the true reality or the truth is none of those. Okay, um, you know, and he has something called the eight negations. But all right, so we we don't we don't need to go into that here. Uh, okay, so so but basically, you know, these all these things, all these yeah, uh, uh, attachments that he says, yeah, they caused our delusions, right? So we eliminate once we can eliminate those, right? Then uh, you know, in that moment, there are no attachments, and that is being in the moment, okay? And it's very, you can say it's very gratifying, okay? Um, okay, so, 我是佛不必怀疑, uh, 佛是我身心不疑, uh, okay? So, no need to doubt that I am Buddha. I firmly believe that suspicion, without suspicion, that Buddha is me. All right, so, yeah, we we all have to realize that we are buddha all right we are buddha um maybe our actions right now our level of our, our consciousness is not at that level yet uh but that's what cultivation is for right so we cultivate to uh gradually realize uh that we are buddha and to realize buddhahood uh, eventually right because we had that buddha nature and so we all right there's the the thing called the Tathagata Garbha. So we all have that seed of Buddhahood within us. Um, and because of that, yeah, that that Buddha nature. Okay. So so we can all become Buddhas, right? Uh, so there's no need, we shouldn't doubt that. Uh Zhen Bupiani, right? Well, but uh Wai Mi. Okay, so why me? Okay, so right knowing and right views without having without bias, I no longer seek. You know, you can say seek the truth or seek whatever uh, externally. Um, yeah, so you know, this is uh, the right, uh, right views. Okay, so that that's you know part of the noble eightfold path, and I uh, uh, there will be a lecture on that uh, uh, pretty soon, I guess. Um, and so, following, you know, this is yeah, this is all part of that middle middle way. You know, the the middle way. Uh, actually, so that's the it's the way of Tao. I mean, that's the way of Tao, really. All right. So no bias, right? This bias. The thing is, when you have that duality, right? So uh, this is there's neither unity nor duality. This duality, then we have a bias. Okay, we can say, oh, it's this or that, right? Uh, so if we follow in the middle way, there's there's none of that. We don't have that, All right? So ten and he yi, neng zhou lu sheng xian gui. Ji, Gui Ji, right? So this is heaven and human, heaven and, heaven and man is one. Uh, we can enter the path of saints and sages. Ye Jiang Zhen Li Lai Chuan Di to and to be able to convey or, yeah, you, know, you say transmit or propagate, spread the truth. Okay. Uh, you know, the heaven, has, heaven and man is one, right? We are because, you know, the because of the Buddha nature, really, that heaven and man is one. Okay, so uh, and but of course we we view heaven as oh okay the external things like the, the Buddhas and sa uh, saints bodhisattvas yeah okay uh, they also can be helping us but again we're all <laughs> really we're all one right <clears throat> okay so and then zhen nan liang jian si dao di right hui fa xian xing fu zai zhe okay so persist to the end with positive energy um and discover that happiness is here okay so this uh you know we we have to do things again have this positive attitude uh and generate this positive energy um and realize that yeah cultivation is something to be uh happy about to be joyful um and that you know there is happiness right here in the moment Okay, uh, it's not, you know, happiness isn't something that we're striving to achieve in the future. In the end, uh, it's it's right here, right now, in the moment, in the moment when there's no attachment. Um, 
Okay, so uh, that's that. Okay, so that's the there's a, that's the song. Uh, let's see. All right, so let me see. There's another. Okay, because I, I, I wanted to also <laughs> talk about this other scripture here, which is also a song, uh, because it's related to that one. It's very it's similar. <clears throat> uh, this is from a different time. This is from 2008. Um, I think I'll just quickly go through this one. Um, again, it's also by a holy teacher, uh, and it's it's called Thank You. Okay, Shesheni. All right. Um, and so it says, uh, 身心人生可以留下累积累积累积的呃 okay actually I'm, I'm not gonna talk about the the, the Chinese there's not much time all right so it says lifetime after lifetime tuning memories accumulating okay so now uh you know that this the the translation here that I use here is is kind of uh e well well because it is it's got to match the, the the song okay so 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 it's a little bit uh you can say uh 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 contrite i guess uh, i mean very very uh yeah uh, uh brief all right so so basically you know we accumulate memories or a karma right through countless kalpas the kalpas are the cycles of the world so this is lei jie and lei si and then uh the lifetimes lei si okay so uh, in basically in our alaya consciousness the eighth consciousness and that's sometimes called the field of karma right so these things are all recorded um, and all of our affinities are due to past karma. So the affinities we have today are uh, they they're the result of the karma that we planted, karmic seeds that we planted in past lives or in yeah in the past. Okay, so so you know as you, see, you can see that this this uh, talks about similar things. The, the theme is similar. I say well, so this is. Xing, uh, sorry, <laughs> uh, I always gratefully appreciating. Okay, so uh, you know. You know, we have to ask ourselves, are we always grateful? Do we always appreciate everything in our lives, right? <clears throat> we should because everything is due to our own karmic affinities, right? These are the things that we uh, planted in the past, right? So we should definitely appreciate it. And that is the way to kind of overcome any uh, so-called bad karma, <clears throat> all right? Uh, to, well, not just uh, appreciating, being grateful, but also, you know, repentant, of course, Uh to do that. <clears throat> and it says, kind feelings in, in years of living, I must be conveying, right? We must cherish our living years. I right? learn the truth and the Tao principles. We, when we realize that the, everything is due to our karma, we must cultivate and correct ourselves to follow the principles of the Tao, right? <clears throat> okay. Uh, a heartfelt thank you, I must be saying. We must thank everyone in our lives, right? Cherish our affinities and appreciate our karmas. But most of all, we must thank Buddha nature, our own Buddha nature, okay? So, uh, the thank you is thanking our Buddha nature, actually. Okay, so um, now karma is leading and binding and thoughts from thoughts accumulating, right? So we again, we realize that reaping the consequences of karma is due to our accumulated thoughts and actions over over the, the, the many lifetimes and kalpas, okay? Uh, so in a kindness and joy aptly manifesting. So we should cultivate our benevolence and perform uh, kind acts with joy. Okay, so because we realize that, yeah, this is actually how we should be, how we are, or how we, yeah, how we really should be, um, and and that's the way. If so, if we actually did things the way we should do things, then we wouldn't create karma. Okay, so but now we kind of have to make up for uh, the karma that we did create because the Tao is all pervading, always accompanying, right? Because the Tao, yeah, we're never lonely, right? The Buddha nature is always with us. Buddhas and Bodhisattvas are always helping us as well if we're sincerely cultivating. Uh, so it's not, um, you know, we're not alone in this, right? And then so thank you to heaven, I must be saying, you know, so I, we always say like, thank God, right? That's a phrase commonly used. <clears throat> but do we really say it with heartfelt gratitude? Right? We should learn to give sincere thanks all the time. Again, because everything is there because we created it. <laughs> we created it through our karma. <clears throat> All right, so it says, I thank you, whether un unknown or familiar, unloved or enduring. Right, We should learn to embrace all living things, all living beings, and all of nature. As Einstein once said, Right, we must widen our circle of compassion to include not just those who are close to us. All right, so... You know, we say God is love, right? You say that that's compassion. Therefore, this love is universal and encompass, encompasses all of creation, right? So we should definitely 
uh, love all, not just those close to us, right? Uh, we were all one and the same in the very beginning, okay? So again, you know, all living beings have the same root, come from the same source and origin. We are all connected by the same Buddha nature essence, all right? Um, uh, in sorrow and joy coming together or separating, right? So karma, karmic affinities, right, have a beginning and an end, right? There are times when we are joyful, such as, you know, when there's we have birth, right? Uh, when someone's born, newborn baby. And then at times we are sorrowful, such as death. Um, okay, that's just one example. But, but we must realize that there is a beginning and end to all things, right? So therefore, we also must learn to accept things when they, uh, should be, when they end. Okay, so um yeah the coming and going the ebb and flow of of karma uh or the karmic affinities okay that's 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 natural right nothing will last forever even this these karmic affinities that we have uh, they don't last forever and so while we have they're there we should cherish those affinities okay um, never give up on mutually caring and, and cherishing all. So also knowing that all karmic affinities come to an end, right? We should cherish these relationships before the affinities end, care for each other as family. Even when the affinity is a bad one, we use compassion to try to make it better. Okay. So that's, uh, that's basically the, uh, you know, when, <laughs> you know, love thy enemy, right? Or, or, you know, love others as you love yourself. Okay. So that's, <clears throat> Um, I thank you. I can find my true self in a world that's constantly changing, right? Getting to know our true self, the Buddha nature, in this false and constantly changing world of forms is not easy, right? And But we should be thankful for this opportunity, okay, um, that we have uh, received the Tao. We're learning about the, studying the Tao and cultivating the Tao, um, okay? So this is the, uh, an opportunity that not everyone has. Okay, so we should definitely uh, be thankful <clears throat> through thick and thin, right? Tender memories of your accompanying, um, you know, our, our true self, Buddha nature, right? It's been with us through birth, death, birth, life, death, and rebirth since the beginning, right? We don't know when the beginning was, if there was, yeah, I, you know, we, we may not realize that Buddha nature is always with us, right? If only we can calm and quiet our mind, let go of attachments and let it speak to us. Yes, actually, uh, we can be. In, so to speak, in touch, so to speak, with our Buddha nature, uh, or you can say communicate with it or, or, you know, be one with it if we can calm and quiet our mind, right? Let go of attachments. So that is, you know, what we say, like being in the moment, right? <clears throat> then we can be one with the Buddha nature and the Buddha nature then is guiding, is there with us and uh, can guide us in doing things, right? Uh, and so I understand that love is a kind blessing, right? So to love others, you know, compassion is a blessing, right? Because love generates more love. Okay, so that that was, yeah, in the other one, it says, you know, there's more, right? <clears throat> Not less. So love others as we would love ourselves, right? To make the affinities and karmas in life be fulfilling, all right? So love or compassion lets us fulfill and satisfy the ebb and flow of karmic affinities in life without creating more karma. Right, the world would be a better place if everyone loved and respected one another and all living beings. Right, so basically, you know, the Tao cultivation is about love, compassion, right, also repentance and gratitude. Uh, you know, these these things. <clears throat> so, okay, right. So this is um, these are two scriptures uh, that uh, talk about similar things. Okay, about that uh, that true nature of us. Um, and that you know when we're cultivating that we should definitely uh try to you know do do these things right become more harmonious uh more reasonable and understanding more relaxed free or comfortable and at ease uh more proper and appropriate warm and cordial proactive and positive okay so uh that um i end this uh class uh if i had said anything wrong i asked the buddhist for forgiveness and also ask transmitting masters and lectures for their corrections. And finally, I also uh, want to dedicate this class, the merits on this class to a uh, recently departed friend, uh, yesterday actually, Jeffrey Chung. Uh, he's also a temple host in Oklahoma. 
Unfortunately, he passed away. Um, and uh, I just wanted to dedicate the merits to him. Um, and that's why this <laughs> there was this uh, sudden uh, last minute change in this this class here. Um, you know, I feel like I owe it. I mean, I don't owe it to I don't really owe him anything, but I've seen I've known. I'm sorry, I'm going to just say a few words here uh, that I, I've known him for a long time. Uh, and I've seen how he ch changed over time. In the beginning, he wasn't really much into the Tao, but um, over time, uh, gradually, you know, when they moved to Oklahoma and they set up the temple home, uh, you know, his wife uh, wanted to set that temple up. Uh, and he, you know, he started to uh, introduce people to the Tao. Okay. So he, I guess he, he, he realized that the Tao is good. Okay, um, and that people should get this Tao, receive the Tao. And so he would introduce his friends, his co-workers to receive the Tao. Um, but other than that, he really wouldn't get involved in it. But more recently, he um, uh, started to, well, it's like one of, one of the things that I remember is that when we go there, you know, propagating the Tao over there, uh, when like we have a class there, or, you know, I'm, even I, when I'm explaining like the three treasures, uh, he would just fall asleep, okay? Uh, but, you know, eventually he completed the Dharma class, okay? Uh, although he, yeah, he he did fall asleep during, during the class too. But actually in recently, in this this year, since the start of this, this uh, new member Shiming class, uh, he said, he told me that he was attending all the classes and he, he, he was listening to them. Uh, he wasn't falling asleep. So I saw that as uh, that was a great uh, improvement. Um, plus, I heard that, you know, he was uh, trying to be he was being vegetarian or, or vegan, I guess. Um, and uh, I heard also last, I guess, earlier uh, this month, I think uh, Transmitter Lynn was over there and their uh, people received a doubt. And he uh, explained, talked, explained the three treasures for the first time. So I, I definitely see how he's progressed and improved uh, over these years. Um, and I, you know, he's not with us now, uh, but, you know, if he, I, I wanna say to, to you, Jeff, that uh, I know you're listening, even though you're not physically in this, right here in this world, but I'm sure you can hear, you know, I'm proud of you, okay? Thank you.